found out yesterday that uh, Don was no longer the coach. It was kind of like a shock for, for first. Uh, so, you know, not, never happy that your, your head coach getting fired. Do you guys take it personally that, you know, he can only do so much? Oh, 100%. I mean, just him to get fired, just not, not, not good enough for more guys. And just, you know, that's, that's a job that someone lost because, you know, how we've been performing. I guess when we talk about accountability, that seems to be a big buzzword, and it's not all on the coach, but what does player accountability going into the summer look like? I think just probably first of all, just look in the mirror and just see what you – just kind of reset and just see what, what you could do better in the whole year and just did you work hard enough? And I think that's, that's what comes to me in, in my mind first. The players in the room, though, with each other, all of you, do you need to hold each other accountable more maybe than you have in the past? Oh, yeah, 100%. I think I think a couple year, couple last years we've been, like, obviously out of the playoffs, but, you know, just I think we kind of slept a little bit out of that. When it comes to your year in reflection, you've mm-hmm. been open about what you learned from being off the ice, but when you look at the season as a whole, I know we're only so far removed, but what are you going to take away from this year? Oh, I haven't think about it that much yet, but just another year, you know, of course, but uh, yeah, a little pretty good start for the year and then a little bit upside down and tough times that mid-season and then kind of good bounce back end of the year. What helped you bounce back in the winter? Because that was probably the most you played and the best you played for the last maybe three months or so. I think just having the opportunity to just, you know, be comfortable in the lineup and just, you know, just show what I'm capable of doing. So I think that's, that's, I was playing a little bit with more confidence. Henry, have you put any thought into what this offseason is going to be for you, you know, restricted free agent and, and, you know, what's to come from that? Yeah, I don't know. Just, you know, we'll see, we'll see what happens, but of course we'll be, more than happy to continue playing here. So I think that's that's how I look it for it. But, you know, business is business, so we'll see what happens. You've missed the opportunity to play in the Worlds for Finland. Uh, what was it, COVID, injury, the whole thing. I mean, you've wanted to do it. Now you're a restricted free agent. Are you going to play with them, or does that kind of keep you out? Yeah, I'm I'm not, not going. I'm not going to play with them. You know, that's mm-hmm. that could be something, you know, like – a little, bit, a little bit too dangerous. But are you disappointed? Because you've, you've wanted to do it for so long and the circumstances have kept you out. Yeah, of course, but yeah, I'm. As someone who knows Uko Pekalukunen very well, um, you know, this team started with a three goalie rotation and that put a lot of pressure and stress on people. How do you think he did at the end of the day, just going through what he did and coming above the adversity? I think he did awesome. Um, how many starts he got, 55 or 54 in the end with the three goalie? goalie started rotation so I think that's uh, that's kind of good message you know how he did the whole year so when you look at the defense Bo Byram came in and you got to play with him quite a bit near the end you saw Ryan Johnson for quite a while as just a kid coming out of college how do you look at the defense now Uh, it's young but yet guys like you and and Rasmus have played a lot of games Uh, how do you look at as a group with uh, some of the young guys coming and getting Bo in there and everything I think it's pretty fresh, or, or, or decor. I think everybody are really, really good players, first of all, and I think everyone just argue with the puck, make some good plays, and you know, pretty, pretty uh, good skaters as well. So I think it's it, it's really good. Do you think Ryan Johnson's going to be a real good one once he you know seasons a little bit? Oh, 100 percent. He's a he's you know all those skill plays what he makes on the ice, and so he's he's going to be a great player one day. How have you seen Rasmus Dahlin grow as a leader? Over the last couple of seasons, I think just um, obviously a little bit more percent on the like a bigger role in, inside the locker room too. But like I think just more he do does on the ice and then so you know all the stuff where he does like two way game. I think this year he took a big step like on the on the defensive end, you know. But of course the offense is still unbelievable what he does. So I mean, well. For me, I think he took a r- really big step in the right direction in the D zone and like how he defends and like how he uses uses his body there. With the way he works, as hard as he works, and the type of leader he has become, do you think he would make a good captain if they wanted him to do that? Oh yeah, hundred percent. There's, I don't think there's any 
any doubt at that. 